what is, <clears throat> excuse me, what is up everybody? Welcome to Planet Peppy. Um, we're going to talk about Bush again today. I'm going to do a ranking of their records, in, of worst to best in, in my opinion. Uh, Gavin Rosdale, as I've said many times on this channel, most underrated musician in modern day and and in, in, in recent history. Uh, and Bush is so underrated as well. Uh, still going strong today. So uh, I want to say right off the bat, I don't hate any of these records. So even like the last one, it's still something I enjoy. Um, but one of them has to be last, you know, and you kind of have to tear them out. So um, we're going to start off with the one I like the least. Came out in, I think, 2017. Uh, Black and White Rainbows. Uh, this is that album that they put out that in a, I, I like it the least because A, it sounds the least like Bush out of all the stuff they've done. And also it, it, it's a little too soft. Like even the songs that are, and I'm not looking for like extreme hardcore, like screamo, that's not what Bush is, but they're a little too soft for me. I even think the songs that were on the harder side there was just something missing. There was like an oomph missing there. Uh, they did have, I mean, there, there are some songs that really just don't do it for me on that record. There are, there are a couple though. I mean, the first, Mad Love is okay. That's like kind of their hit. I think it's like the first song. It's okay. And they do have this one song because it's a, it's a long record. It's like 17 songs. It's a song, God, what, what, it, it, it's something like, all we want to know is, do you love for real love for the night? And it's really good. And, like, he starts at one point, like, in the chorus a couple times, he starts, like, randomly, like, singing in Japanese. And it works. It's actually, like, a really good song. I, 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 I dig it. And there's also another positive thing I'll say about it is um, there's a backup vocalist pretty much throughout the whole the whole record. Uh, and it's this woman who's singing back up to, to Gavin and, and she's really good. So, but overall it just doesn't do it for me. It, it, it almost feels like, um, it, it feels like it, it feels more like a Gavin Rosdale solo record than a Bush record, you know, like, cause it's, it's a lot softer. And I've always said that like solo stuff tends to be softer than like group work. And it's just, it, eh. Didn't didn't really love it. Um, the next one is Razorblade Suitcase, which was their follow-up record to their debut album back in, uh, I think it was released in uh, 96. Uh, it was a follow-up to 16 Stone. I, I don't, I, I've, the first time I, I listened to it, I didn't like it at all. I know they have Swallowed on there, which is a big hit song of theirs still, which is really good. But it, it's it it brings the umph. It's it's it, it's a nice follow up. I just don't. It didn't do it for me. It almost sounded like because they're from overseas. It almost sounded like they were kind of going a little bit for like I hate to, like almost like an early Green Day like type thing. And it just it, it's, it's, something about the style was just a little off for me. And it's, it's it doesn't really have that much re listenability. I don't even know if that's a word. But eh, it's I, it's it's not one that I th throw on very often. Pretty much everything from here on it are things that I love. So it's it's hard to it, this is, was extremely hard to rank because to try to put one over another or one behind another is just seemed disrespectful. <laughs> so uh, Sea of Memories in 2011, some really good songs on there. Uh, shout out to Carl, my boy Carl from back home in New Jersey. He loves the. Uh, uh, the Sound of Winter, which is a great song. Um, it's it's a nice blend. It's it, it's got like it's got you know like meaning behind it. It's it's really good. I think it's it's pretty underrated of, of theirs. Um, and I think it got put out in I think twenty eleven was was when it came out. So it was kind of like they're in they're in between stuff. So Sea of Memories comes in at the third, or I guess the last to third spot if that makes sense uh the next one which i think is a very also very underrated the, these middle ones here kind of you really could have gone either way because like i think that i like them all so equally that it's like we're talking like millimeters of like what 
which one I like more or which one I like just a little less. We're talking like inches. There's like these middle ones, there's like no gap. I, I like them all. Um, Golden State came out in 01. And I mean, there are some great songs on that record. Head Full of Ghosts is amazing. Gavin Rosdale sings, wrote some great lyrics on there. Uh, and it, it, it's, I think Golden State is California. I'll let it slide. Everyone knows my feelings on, on California, <laughs> but um, I, 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 I liked it. There, there's, there's a lot of. There's also one song on there that I think is literally one of their best. Um, oh, what's it called? Uh, um, um, I'll think of it. I'll, I'll, I'll get it. I don't want to waste your time thinking about it for like a minute um but i remember they do have uh the song uh they have they have the song on there the song that i was i said in my other video like it was it was this was the record i was playing when my boy dan again from back home we were driving around he's like oh this sounds a lot like alkaline trio and like he's right like the more i got to know alkaline trio i did see some comparisons with especially this record uh man on the run with with some of their stuff and some songs in particular uh, that that's really good. I you know, Man on the Run obviously is, is a great song up there. So I'm gonna I, I, I give this um, you know mad mad respect. Um, oh no, wait, hold on. No, I'm wrong about that. Hold on, Golden State didn't have Man on the Run. Go, I'm thinking of two. I'm sorry, I got my my records mixed up. So Golden State. It, that is the the record that my my okay let okay so after sea of memories is golden state i kind of i'm sorry i got my wires crossed there for a second but uh no golden state again I, everything i said is true up until the point of man on the run which is its own record uh which i mean you know i, I think is amazing the next one um we're gonna go with um man on the run so you know, I th I think it, I think Man on the Run is a great record in, in and of itself. It's it's kind of a little bit of so of a softer side, but it still brings the umph. If that makes sense, like it's 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 kind of more soulful. Um, it's a little more like it's it's powerful, but like powerful in like a subwoofer kind of way. Like it's it's a it's it's it's, it's well-rounded it's heartful it's soulful um even the, the the quieter songs they they manage to make powerful you know which sometimes the, the you know the quietest songs you know c can be the most you know the, mo the most powerful so man on the run comes next um i'm sorry i kind of got a little bit of a battling a little bit of a cold um uh, the next one is their most, one of their most recent records, which is, um, um, The Kingdom. I think The Kingdom's great. Uh, I, I think that they're, like, they really hit home with that. That was in 2020 when, when that record dropped. Um, their tour, all their tours for it, I think, got canceled because of the pandemic. I lost my job, so, like, I, I remember I I couldn't like even like everything was closed like the record stores were like everything was closed so I had to buy uh, I bought like three copies of their other record uh, the kingdom on on Amazon and um, and uh, I, I, they got some crazy stuff. I mean here comes the clowns um, flowers on a grave Th that that brings some energy especially the older they got you figure especially after like something like black and white rainbows you figure maybe the older they got the um like the, the the softer they might get they brought it with with uh black and white uh, with uh i'm sorry <laughs> with the kingdom <clears throat> so many listenable like re-listenable songs a very re -re uh listenable record they 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 brought the energy they you know they they brought the the spirit back uh because this is the, this is the record that, that was the follow-up to Black and White Rainbows, which was very soft, you know, like almost too soft uh, for, for my taste and a lot of fans' taste. So, like, for them to kind of come back from that and just be like, hmm, let's, 
let's you know like let's bring it back really really impressed me um so many so many good songs and a lot of good music videos too that they put out um that uh kind of complemented the, the the record in and of itself number two i'm actually gonna go with their their most recent record and i swear to, i cannot i'm embarrassed as hell i'm blanking on the name of the record it's art art of survival I, I think it's called it's really good it's you know there there were some good songs it was like a good, nice follow-up to the kingdom uh and this literally just came out like like a not long ago at all I, you know um I, I, like a couple months ago it came out i think so re really good record nice follow-up a lot of good you know songs have really reminded me a lot of the kingdom honestly those two could have kind of gone back and forth you know it could have been the kingdom could have been two and you know art of survival could have been three or vice versa it, again like this is we're talking milliliters here uh but i'm sorry three three and four number two comes in i'm sorry i'm I have a bad memory. <laughs> Number two comes in at the Science of Things, which came out, I believe, in 99, which was their third studio record. And it is amazing. I mean, you got Here Comes the War Machine. You got, um, you know, uh, 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 The Chemicals Between Us, Splitting the Cable Sleep. It is such an amazing record. It is so good. It is far and away number two on this list. You, you know, you can't beat it. It's It's really, like, a really good record it, it, it's got so many good re, like songs that you could re-listen to um it's, it's an album it's a record that you could re-listen to it's really really good so i would recommend checking it out uh and it's kind of cool the science things it's kind of a cool name i think uh so gavin rosdale knocked it out of the park in that one and number one i mean is there any is there you know <laughs> it's got to be 16 stone it's got to be their debut record in 1995. I mean, it's, it, it's just, I mean, you got like everything zen. You got come down. You got glycerin. You got so many things. It's it's amazing. It's such uh, the little things that kill. So many good songs on that. It's, it's, it's hard to top that. It's, and I'm not saying that because their first record was their best that they went downhill from there. No, they've. They've, they've kept a steady pace and and like they've put out amazing things since then but it, it you can't stop you can't top 16 stone i mean it's just too it's just too good it's such an amazing record you gotta you gotta give it a listen you you got it like if you don't know anything about about bush and like you're trying to get into him just throw on their first record stone 16 stone gavin rosdale bursted onto the scenes Bush bursted onto the scene, and it's a shame too because they actually missed. I'm a big Nirvana fan. They 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 put out their their first album, Stone Sixteen, like like months after Kurt died. Like they missed each other. Those band like they could have toured together. You know, like it, it would have been cool if like. I don't think. I mean, I don't think. I know that, that Gavin Rosdale went to Nirvana concerts. And, and listen to him and like love them, but I don't think they ever met because like Gavin Rosdale wasn't like a household name yet. He wasn't like famous, but man, that would have been cool to see like even like a joint interview or like like a video of them like meeting or something. That would have been, or even like a story of, of them meeting. Yeah, that would have been really cool. But I'm getting off topic. It's, it's Stone's 16 Stone is amazing. Came out in I think early, late 94, early 95. If anything, listen to Come Down. Like, if you're going to throw on one song, like, if you just want to give five minutes of your day, throw, and you don't know anything about this band, throw on Come Down, and you'll probably want to listen to the rest of the record. Um, but yeah, Everything Zen is amazing. Uh, you even got, um, what's the song? Uh, it's like, something like, like a... It's meant to be played on electric. What's it called? Um, I, I'm, I'm blanking. Uh, I mean, I'm sure the second I, I stop this video, I'll remember. But um, 
yeah, it's uh, it, it's an amazing record. It's one of the all-time greats. I think it's extremely underrated. Thus says it is the band, in my opinion, and Gavin Rosdale. So that's my ranking. Um, and yeah, I hope you you know anything you want, you know, throw a, a, a comment down in the sections below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What's your ranking? What's your favorite? What's your worst? What everything in between. I uh, respect you guys' opinion, and thank you for checking out the video. And, uh, yeah. All right. Find a pep, everyone. I'm uh, Storm Cloud, hanging out as always. Uh, peace out.